Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. We're continuing our troubleshooting the jet pump series, and today we're talking specifically about low operating pressure or very little to no flow. So typically when you're dealing with low water pressure or little to no flow, the first thing and the easiest thing to check is whether or not you've actually got water in the pump. So one of the possibilities is that the pump has lost prime, either you've lost water in the well, so the capacity has been hindered and or uh, we've had a foot valve or a check valve go bad, which is allowing that water to bleed out of the pump back into the well. Uh, that could also be an indication of a leak in the pipe so be aware of that another easy thing to check when you're experiencing low pressure but when you open the pump up it's full of water is oftentimes with the jet pump the jet could be plugged so take a, a long metal rod uh, usually a coat hanger is what I recommend and you'll have to access the pumps jet and just shove that through the eye of the jet typically there will be a little obstruction or something in there uh, that you can free up then you'll get that pressure back so on our cutaway pump this is the jet that we're talking about uh, they're often pretty much similar shape and size usually they're not clear this is kind of a rare one most of them are like a black plastic and the nozzle that gets stuck in this one is probably hard to see is right here in this front section um, you would just stick something into that so it would remove it, it would involve taking this off and actually sticking something through there to free it up so as I mentioned, it could be just a insufficient water in the well. So if the well has run out of water, so if you're doing a lot of irrigation, watering, running more water than usual, and suddenly your pump starts acting up, make sure you take a look and identify whether or not there's enough water in the well to actually support what you're doing. So alternatively, if it doesn't seem to be any issues relating to the water supply or suction side or piping or anything like that, and the pump is holding and is full of water, but you're still getting getting bad performance and you've went through the trouble of clearing that jet, we may have an issue with the pump's motor or something internally, whether it be uh, an impeller problem, a diffuser problem, something else is going on that's, that's preventing this from either running full speed, so you may be experiencing some odd noises, uh, or something internally is rubbing, which is causing friction, which is causing things to slow down, hindering performance. So it might be time to crack open that pump case and take a look inside if you've already gone through the other troubleshoot. So I hope that that helps you solve your pump problems today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you got something great out of this video. We've got tons of other videos for you on tons of different troubleshooting techniques as well as products and so on and so forth. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.